Hey YouTube, how's it going out there? Uh, another Android uh, tutorial video here and the app I'm going to be using for this is called Desktop Visualizer. Here's a look at the, at the market page for this app. Um, I've given it five stars because I think it's a really great app and I'll paste the link for this in the info section down below the video there. So what this uh, application lets you do is this. Let's go to my home screen here, and I'm going to swipe over kind of slowly so that it doesn't look too jerky on the main view there. So as you can see here, um, pretty different layout than what's kind of stock on the Evo as well as most Andro other Android phones. Um, this big icon here takes up two columns by two rows. Um, you can make these little icons down here, as well as icons that take up multiple columns or multiple rows like this one. Um, accidentally hit that there. So let me go to a space with some empty, a screen with some empty real estate on it. Uh, as you can see here, there's a icon with a little gear on it. And to get that, that is a desktop visualizer widget. So you just scroll down here once you've installed desktop visualizer and you can see you've got a, a lot of options here um, it gives you a, some dimensions on the side here and oops didn't mean to do that so quick um, so it gives you some dimensions on the side here and on the left side it gives you an example of what that icon is going to look like as far as how much space it's going to take so as you can see, I already saw, I already touched one, but let me just pick another one here. Um, I'll pick this one. Why not? That's the same one. So when it pops up like that here, you just press on it, and it goes into this screen here, where you can select icon, and you can use any picture that you have saved on your phone or your SD card as the icon picture. Uh, the icons that I used, I got from XDA Developers Forum. I got it from a couple different forums, and I'll put the links to those as well. And then you can select the action that the icon will perform. You can have it launch any application that's installed on your phone. You can do other, which I'll show you an example of that. Um, you can map other to bookmarks. You can have it direct dial one of your contacts. Um, if you have some driving directions that you just can't seem to remember, you can map those to a icon as well and you know just other shortcut type things that is on that are on your phone so if I go back and the other thing you can do is just none which it won't do anything when you tap the icon and that's what I did for that screen that I showed with all those icons um, I just put a bunch of dummy icons for the sake of showing what kind of layout you could possibly do um, you can choose to display a label for it or not um, and you can change the label color to either black or white. And touch effect lets you set the color of the icon when you touch it. Um, you can either do orange, light blue, green, or none. Uh, personally, I like none just because it looks cleaner when you touch the icons. But if you want to give it some, you know, some visual flair, giving it one of the colors will produce that sort of highlight around the icon when you do that. So just cancel out of that, cancel. And so again, you can set that up to have you know a layout like this with lots of icons if you want. Um, these two little toolbars right here are a different application, which I'll cover in a, cover in another video. And so just keep an eye out for that if you're interested in those um, little icons there. And if you want to give your phone some more customization this is a great option to do that um, also in case you don't know how to do this in launcher pro the way to get so many rows on the screen is you just go into menu preferences and then you go to home screen settings and you scroll all the way down to number of columns number of rows currently I have mine set to four columns and six rows. 
So you can go all the way up to 10 on both of those if you want to, you know, just have tons of space on your home, home pages, uh, home screens. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. And again, that's with, that's a feature in Launcher Pro. So Launcher Pro combined with Desktop Visualizer lets you do, you know, layouts like this. And um, like I said, I'll be putting links to all these icons in the description as well as a link to the market page for Desktop Visualizer itself. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave me a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and keep, keep it tuned here for some more videos in the future. Thanks.